What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Asus Ally gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're going to check out the Castillo Protocol. Now, I don't think this game will probably run all that well on this guy, but hey, maybe it'll surprise me. But we'll do the usual hop in at 1080p, and then we'll try to lower some settings from high-ish mediums to just medium for 900p, and then we'll just try 720p with everything on low. And then We'll, I'll decide on what works best, and we'll get a little camera recording gameplay with that. I think that sounds like a fun idea. So, let's not waste any more time, and let's get started. All right, well, here's the settings I decided on for 1080p. The only thing I forgot to show is I had turned on FSR afterwards. After turning off all this stuff. Because if we tried ray tracing, we'd be getting like 8 FPS probably. That wouldn't be any fun. We don't want that. We should also get rid of ray trace shadows. We don't need anything to do with ray tracing right now. Not on AMD. And heck, even on, on uh, Nvidia, that shit costs you frames. And generally doesn't look too good in most games. There are exceptions to that rule, of course. But a lot of games are just like, hey, we hastily added it just to like have RT and it adds a bunch of stutter and doesn't even look like much different. Those are the times where it's like, nope, I don't even turn that on. But anyway, now that I've showed you the settings, let's go try to run it and it's probably not gonna run very well. Well, here we are in game. And as you can tell, if we're only getting 25 FPS in this tiny ass little ship, we would get in, probably in the teens, maybe even single digits once we got to the prison. And that's with FSR on quality helping us. I forgot to show you guys that in the settings. Once I got into the game, I was like, wow, this is really bad. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot to turn FSR on. But I still wanted to do this real quick, just for the people that care more about graphics than frame rate. Come on, man. You gotta stack these right. And heck, a lot of games on, like, say, a Switch would run at way less FPS than this. Well, looking worse, too. They're usually really good at doing their actual, like, Mario games and all that stuff at a decent frame rate. But, like, anything third-party and even some Pokemon games have been getting pretty bad FPS on that. Luckily, though, it seems like the Switch 2 will be here soon. And hopefully it'll be about as powerful, if not more powerful, than a Steam Deck. That would be great. Then they can hopefully finally get some decent frame rates going in there. At maybe, like, keep it at 720p or maybe go up to 1080p, but I'd rather just keep it at 720. You don't really need much more than that on a little handheld. Other than, otherwise, you just kind of lose FPS and then... You'd be stuck at maybe 30 FPS again, although I'm sure a lot of people on Nintendo don't really care that much about frame rate. I'm sure there's a few snobs out there like from the PC crowd like me that like FPS a lot, but me, even I can play games at 30 on a little handheld. It's not the end of the world. But when the thing looks like what was going on with Mortal Kombat 1 and how that looked on the Switch, no. I would never want to play that if that was my only console. My Switch is much like my... Steam Deck and Ally, it's mostly used for indies anyway. But now it doesn't really get touched now that I've got my Steam Deck and Ally. Gotta, Gotta be. Oh yeah, at least on the ship it's playable-ish frame rates, but we still drop under 30 from times. What do they want? How should I know? Anything? Nothing yet. Almost out of time. Anyway, though, let's now move on to a little 900p in more reasonable settings. Let's try a little 900p now with some medium settings instead of things being on high. That probably was a terrible idea, but I wanted to do that for the people that would want a game at 1080p, you know? They probably care more about graphics and frame rate. 900p should be a great media, medium middle ground. Still no 
ray traced anything, because I figured that would just run terribly. Still gonna leave an aliasing on temporal AA. And then here we got FSR still on quality, medium settings, so I don't know what that actually puts the resolution at, but obviously it's not 900p. But anyway, now back to the game. Well now, here we go. 900p with FSR, with everything else on medium. Yeah, almost can get 60 at times. More like a 40 to 50 FPS experience, it seems like, though. This better be worth the trouble. Still, not bad. I should check out the rest of the ship. Yes, let's do that. We'll just keep going through the same little level. And then when we get to the camera-recorded portion, I'll go all the way into the prison. Because I kind of want to see what the frame rate will be like with uh, the 900p medium settings. I feel like that'll probably be a good way to go. And should still get us, you know, 30, 40 FPS once we get to the prison. The At least that's my hope. Oh, I keep going the damn wrong way here. It's the other way. It has always been the other way. I have no idea why I turn on air like that. Multiple times, no less. Just silly, I tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna take a hit. That is some chronic. I can see why they named it Jealousy. Dampening field still in effect. Not for long. What do they want? How should I know? They want us all dead. No, I think they want our cargo. If I recall. It's been a long time since I beat this game though. Anyway, though, it is time to try 720p out. Now for the 720p settings. Left all this stuff pretty much alone. Now we're at 720p, and there is no more FSR. I wasn't going to use it anyway, but it's not even an option when you go down to this low of a resolution. And then it never came back, so I couldn't tell if I had it on once I put it back to 900p. But once I got as many frames as I got, I started thinking, yeah, it's probably on. But in any case, why don't we go see how it does now? Go All right. So now for 720p with everything on low and everything basically turned off. And we'll see what it does. Well, definitely got a lot of frame rate now. Doesn't look particularly great anymore. Of course though, when you put it down on the little screen, you'd probably barely notice a difference. But I think you'd still notice a little difference. But like I said, this is for the people that care all about frame rate. Come on, you gotta stack these right. But personally, I don't think frame rate matters as much in a game like this. As long as you're getting 30 plus, that's all I really need in a slow kind of moving game like this. It's, it's very similar to Dead Space. I think, in fact, it was made by the same some of the same people that made Dead Space, which is why it seems so similar. And at least they got rid of the obnoxious stuttering that plagued this game, at least from what I can tell. This game was an absolute stutter field. Although I think it was mostly due to the ray tracing, so I think I just played the game with it off. And just enjoyed, like, lots of FPS on my other systems when I played the game. Now, that's just how I'm in. I do not care about turning ray tracing on, especially if it turns my game into a stuttering mess. No matter whether I have a 4090 system or a all AMD 7900 XTX or what have you, doesn't matter. 
If it stutters and runs like crap, why sit there and run it just to be like, well, I'm running it. It's like, okay, well, who cares? So who are you in a competition with? As long as it runs the way you want, that's all I care about. And I have a 4090 system because I wanted a game at 4K because I'm nuts. And have a, lot, a decent amount of money. Definitely wouldn't call myself rich. I'm not like in the freaking top one percentile by any stretch of the imagination. I always consider myself top of middle class to the bottom of the high end guys. Dampening field still in effect. Not for long. All right, what do we got here? What do they want? How should I know? Oh, you should know everything. You should be psychic. What are you talking about, man? But in any case, let's go move on to a little camera recorded gameplay now. All right, so let's get ourselves a little camera recorded gameplay. I put it back to 900p. The only thing I couldn't mess with was FSR. The whole option just disappeared on me when I dropped the dropped it down to 720p and tested that. And uh, I'm assuming it's still on, but it might not be on. It was definitely on for 1080p and 900p when we were doing the cam uh, screen recorded, but. Judging by how many FPS we're getting, I'm willing to say it's still on and we're doing on quality. Because that's the setting I left it on, but... Can't really confirm for that, sure. And I think once we go into the game, I don't think it really gives you much in options. No, you can just go to 900p and do HDR and monitor stuff. You can't really mess with any other settings in-game. Which is good. That means every time you mess with settings, you gotta go completely out of the game, mess with your settings, and go back in. But, regardless, even if FSR is on, I think these settings are good. So if you do 900p and you're not getting count my FPS, then FPS, FSR must be on, you know? That's the best way to put it. But they took the setting away, so. Other than that, I tried to make it just like 900p was before. Worth the trouble. Oh, trouble. Let's check out the rest of the show. <coughs> Steam in the face. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess I'll check the other side. Seems like there's an issue. What's up? We've been boarded. Oh, shit. The outer way? Yeah, I'm guessing. All right. All right, well, we can get your ass back up here. And watch your back. You know, it could be anywhere. can't stay at 60 all the time, unfortunately, but in this kind of game, it's not really super necessary to be at 60, in my opinion. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's not necessary. I'm just happy that it's not a complete stutter fest anymore. There he is! Max, heading for the bridge! Open up! No open up. intensive parts we're going to drop into the 30s and 40s which is why I picked the setting, the medium settings and not high. High would probably be in the teens right now with 1080p you know. 
You gotta get to the cockpit, man. The ship's caught in the moon's gravity. We're being pulled in. I don't even know if I'm controlling it anymore. Nope, I think he's doing it himself. Mayday, mayday, mayday! This is UJC Karen! Returning to Callisto! Requesting emergency clearance! Negative, UJC Karen. You are not authorized for re-entry. Sorry, but I got no choice! Coming in hot! Who's the antigraphs? Already at maximum! We're not gonna make it! Yes, we are! Watch out! Hold on! We already had impacted a bunch of stuff, man. We should have been bracing from impact for the damn beginning. Alright, let's just skip through this, because I kind of want to see how it runs in the actual jail, too. Because that's where you spend a majority of your time in the game. And we get to see how long loading takes, which isn't bad. Outbreak. Skip. Hey, stop. All right. That's cutscenes in the beginning of this game. Awake we are. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to just like walk around for a little bit and then a cube will appear. New ending. Oh, there it is. Now we can skip again. Attention. Attention. Whoa. Oh well, we're having a better day than he is. But is also not having a good day. No one here seems to be having a good day. As far as good days goes, I'm still walking around. This guy's day's going all right, as far as I'm concerned. Well, if it wasn't for needing to replenish that weird nonsense they put in the back of his neck anyway, if I remember correctly, you have to constantly keep that, like, filled up. Yeah, that, that's your life bar? I can't quite remember. It's been a little bit since I've played. But yeah, definitely still seems more than playable. We're not getting 60 anymore, but I figured we would. I was preparing for like 30 to 40 FPS most of the time. And it still doesn't look bad at all on the actual screen. What the fuck is going on? I don't know what the hell. Absolute chaos. My ship crashed. I got. But in any case, I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay. So why don't we go ahead and go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for the Castillo Protocol on the Azus Ally. And it did all right. 1080p with high settings did not really do great. Probably would have been in the teens once we got to the actual prison thing. But at least 900p seemed to work quite well. Hey you, don't you go to sleep on me. We're not done with the outro yet. <laughs> but anyway, so I like the middle ground. It seemed to do all right. I didn't really think we needed to go with 720p. 720p probably didn't look that bad. We could have probably done 720p with like medium settings and gotten a little bit more FPS. But who's to say? Because I think 900p with FSR is probably slightly under 720p. Not 100 on that though, but it just took the op FSR option away once I dropped it down to 720p and then it never appeared. So I wasn't able to see if I still had it on or not for the 900p gameplay. Pretty sure it was going by the FPS I was getting, but cannot confirm it for sure. Because like I said, the damn setting disappeared. I don't know what the hell was up with that, but it was gone. So anyway. Yet another game the ally can play quite well. 
So that's always good. But in any case, that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.